what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's a girl crystal here and i'm back again with another video if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of my family um because we getting lit over here and if you want to get lit too then this is the right place for you don't mind my hair um i'm actually supposed to be re-dyeing it and all of that stuff but trust me when i tell you this baby has me busy this baby have me very busy so today i just feel like i wanted to share with you guys um pretty much 18 well i wish i knew before getting pregnant because this is my third baby um so yeah but i do have two apologies to get out of the way so i'm just gonna do that um first and then we'll get into this video so the first one is sorry if you hear any noise outside um i don't know i guess they're renovating the parking lot at my apartment and the second one is um i'm so sorry i have not been posting lately i just haven't been feeling good um i'm really hot i'm very irritated a lot of stuff has been going on so i try my best not to come on the camera because i don't want to come on here with the attitude and then everybody's like not feeling my energy if that makes sense so that's kind of like why i did that so anywho let's just get on into the video <laughs> Okay, so the first, and I did go ahead and write down a few stuff on my iPad because I do have pregnancy brain right now and it's nothing good. So <laughs> if that makes sense. And if you are a new mommy, um, a first time mommy, a second time mommy, whatever time, how many kids you have, comment down below and just say hi, you know, if you're a parent and you understand the struggles. So just comment, leave me a comment down in the description box and description box in the comment box down below and let's be friends you know because i need more pregnancy friends to share my updates and stuff with because i do with my husband but he's always at work so and right now yeah we're gonna get into the video so um i am currently still in my first trimester um i'm actually at the end of my first trimester i'm 12 weeks and four days today um I have been feeling so so irritated for no reason um like literally I have to tell my husband like babe if I start cussing you out just don't pay no attention because right now like my whole body everything about me is just not what I want it to be but hey I can't help it so yeah um I've been feeling very fatigued I don't want to eat um sometimes i skip meals and i'm not supposed to be doing that because i do have um diabetes and type 2 diabetes to be exact and i don't want that i heard that that's not the bad one but i don't want to like not feed the baby but what i mean by i skip meals is that like sometimes i'll eat a fruit for lunch or for breakfast i'll just eat drink some juice um with like banana or something because I don't feel like eating such a heavy meal um, I do not like lately I do not like leftovers leftovers get made me gag um, I do be trying lately to like try and eat some leftovers because uh, excuse me I don't want to waste a lot of my food like who does that me but I be trying to keep up with that but um, right now what we're doing is we're not cooking a lot of food just because we don't want to like cook all this food and then I'm not gonna eat it so we're trying to cook less um, now I am I do not um, take prenatal pills specifically the pills I take like the little gummies um, the mega fusion I'll put a picture on the screen if I remember or whatever but um, I do not take the pills. I cannot take the pills. The pills make me throw with them. I will throw them back up. Um, I didn't. I did the same. The same thing happened with my first and second pregnancy. So I don't know why I felt like this pregnancy was going to be any different. But a lot of people say um, different pregnancies are different, but not mine. With all of my pregnancy, I could not take the prenatal pills. Um, I have to take like the little gummies and. 
they made me feel better um they just tell me that i have to eat a lot more fruits and vegetable um a lot of more protein because that's what the pill gives you all the vitamins that the pill give you um i have to kind of like substitute the pill for like um extra meat or um like just pretty much extra stuff that was I, that's actually inside of the um vitamin that i don't want to take um i can't help it if i take it like i will literally vomit i will vomit and that's another thing i want to talk to you guys about i have not had any nausea um i haven't felt like i was gonna i haven't vomit in like um what would i say um in like what would i say i haven't vomit in a few weeks now i haven't thrown up surprisingly because like when i just found out that i was pregnant i was literally attached to the bathroom i was attached to the bathroom and this is actually my first pregnancy that i actually get the pregnancy the uh, morning sicknesses and stuff because usually with my daughter and my son the dad got the morning sickness um the vomiting the nausea the pain everything and i would just feel the pain at the end but now it's like i'm feeling everything the pain the back pain my womb stretching i can feel all of that stuff bro like oh and it makes me want to cry because sometimes i'm just like oh my gosh at night if this happens literally at night and if you are feeling the same pain comment down below if it's normal i have been feeling like some little cramps now and then um my doctor said it's pretty um it's normal because my womb is stretching but i never felt anything like this in my other pregnancies and this one is just like giving me a hard time but by the grace of god we're okay um that's all that i really care about um so at night is when i feel the little stretching and all of that stuff so um if you're feeling it as i said before comment down below let me know like is, is it normal are you feeling the same symptoms like just let me know in the um in the comments um so the second thing that i want to talk to you guys about the second one is actually you want to get new underwears i know this is gonna sound really weird but i have already purchased some new pair of underwear some extra ones and all that stuff i have already purchased them but you want if you're a person like me that tmi wear a lot of thongs you want to get cotton underwear okay the reason why i'm saying this is because when you're in your first trimester i don't know how i did it but i did it thank god um <laughs> i was just like i kept be i kept going um at first i wasn't wearing no clothes i'm still not wearing clothes um i only have on these because i'm filming a video but i don't have i don't wear clothes uh especially if i'm home alone i turn on the ac the fans everything and i lay in my bed butt naked because when you're pregnant you're gonna feel it clothes is annoying to you okay clothes is going to be very 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 uncomfortable i'm not even um lying about this if you if you've been pregnant you know wearing clothes while you're pregnant is super annoying and then i'm pregnant in the summer so that's not making it every any um better if that makes sense so yeah um also why i say you want to change your underwear if you don't wear like what would i say like i don't know i just feel like you should definitely get clean new brand new underwears um just for like your pregnancy or whatever um you can get it at your first trimester your second or your third just make sure you get some new underwears um just because like you don't want to be wearing thongs while the thong ain't gonna stretch all the way over your belly sweetheart i promise you but you got to get those little underwears that stretchy bigger because while your bump is growing your underwear needs to grow too so i i mean unless you want to feel uncomfortable but yeah not me i'm not with the uncomfortable stuff so yeah um the third one you want to wear panty liners when you're pregnant oh my gosh yes yes you want to wear panty liners when you are pregnant 
please okay you want to wear panty liners when you are pregnant and the reason why i am repeating this is because number one sweetheart you're gonna have so much discharge it's not even funny if you cough you gonna feel something coming out yeah i promise you because like your body discharges more when you're pregnant for some reason i don't know why but um yeah and you don't want to like mess up your brand new underwear that you bought you just bought and all of that stuff so you just want to wear panty liners you don't have to if you don't want to if you don't feel comfortable in it because i remember when i was pregnant with my daughter layla i couldn't wear panty liners it was so uncomfortable i had to like put on pads but for some reason yeah so i couldn't wear pants it's kind of like i was allergic to panty liners when i was pregnant with her but um after that then all i wear was panty liners um keep okay so you want to moisturize your entire body um in your first and second trimester because okay so your belly doesn't start well i don't know mine's did but i guess it's because i already i'm already fat but um your belly doesn't really start growing until you're like mid in like until you see you hit your second trimester that's the reason why you want to keep your body very moisturized um oh it's in the bathroom right now i feel like i'll get it right now i am using this cocoa butter um cream it's not cream it's like an oil here i'll go get it for you okay, guys so if you watch my pre my recent not my recent video but if you watch my um first trimester um must have videos you would see in that video where i mentioned this little oil right here it's called mama mama love me hey mama mama love mama love mama love whatever it's by honest glow on body oil and it said it's made specifically for your belly it's unscented um it doesn't have no scent it doesn't smell like oil it literally just does not have a scent it comes with a pump you just pump it in your hand you moisturize your belly this i got it from target if you don't want to buy this because this was really expensive for some reason um in target but if you don't want to get this you can also get this now this is the body gel moisturizer um moisturized care cocoa divine body gel and i got this one in the cocoa butter scent because i love cocoa butter for some like right now cocoa butter is my favorite um but it looks like this it's kind of like a thick consistency so you don't want to use a lot of it but it's oil it spreads use as much as you need because like I'll, i'm gonna show you my belly in a minute but you guys gonna see like my stretch marks are getting worse because at some point i stopped using that one so i had to buy this um so this has been helping me with the itching and stuff um and they also have it in like the johnson johnson whatever but i just bought the walmart brand because what it's just cool. but what i have been using on my um eczema i don't know if you guys can see it but like my eczema was taking over and like literally in the beginning of my first trimester like right here was breaking out my skin was breaking out literally so what i do is i went on amazon you can get this on amazon you can get this wherever but i went on amazon and i was looking and actually i found this well now i didn't find it one of my friends um gave it to me when i went and did my makeup in um, miami she gave it to me it's the red red fox 2 old butter it's cocoa butter and it looks like this it's it looks like that i haven't been using it a lot um a lot but well i have i have been using it but i don't use a lot because once like it's literally all you need is just to wipe and just rub it on your belly and i promise you i use this on my lips so here let me put some on there right now because my lips are dry like very dry hey did you why did i press in that um yeah my lips are very dry but I use this on my belly, my back, my eczema, everything, sis. Right here. 
and I'll if I find a link for it I'll leave it down in the description bar for you that right there did me good like it did me really good I'm not even gonna front um just left um but yeah so i use that on my belly because i cannot like my stomach itch super bad like what is you itching for like come on it's itching right now but that's beside the point so keep your body very moisturized um in your first second um and third trimester i ain't gonna lie like when your belly is stretching that's when the stretch marks is gonna come a lot of people say they're they probably won't get stretch um, stretch marks. Hey, that's that, if that's what you think, then go ahead. I don't know. Um, I know I got some stretch marks by from my daughter and my son, and I'm I see on this pregnancy I've seen the stretch marks coming in. So yeah. Um. If you can get a pregnancy pillow, go ahead and get you one. I have a big one right here, sis. Like, I have, and I got mine from Walmart for like 20 bucks. Um, and it's in the baby section at Walmart, not in the pillow section, because I made the mistake going in the pillow section looking for it and it wasn't in there. So, just in case you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, I'm looking through the window. Well, I'm looking through the mirror, trying, I'm facing the, the mirror. The window what is wrong with my mouth today i can't talk but yeah um go ahead and get you a body pillow sis because <laughs> i needed it in my first trimester i was super uncomfortable i could not sleep i could not sleep i use my husband as a pillow but sometimes he he, he just gone when he's sleeping he'll, he'll like give me his back like we'll go to sleep uh, we'll go to sleep as a perfect couple and then in the middle of the night he's gone so i had to get a body pillow so that's what i did and i got me one and i have been sleeping like an angel since i got it like literally since since i got it i've been sleeping like an angel so go get you one um the next bro this is the most important one okay the most important one you want to pay attention to this one make sure you're drinking I use this and I I've been telling you guys in all my videos I fill this up like 10 times a day 10 times a day even more sometimes because sis right now it's heat it's summer so you're gonna need one of these babies right here you know what I'm saying like I got this from Walmart for $18 um and it keeps your drink or water cold up to 24 hours which is true because it keep my ice in there because i have to drink some blunt cold ice water i can't drink room temperature water they say you're supposed to drink room temperature water when you just wake up but my, if my water is not cold i can't drink that what i can't drink that if that's not cold no i can't do it so this baby right here she got me set i ain't gonna lie like mm, Go and get you one because what you want to do is you want to stay hydrated while you're pregnant. Be staying hydrated while you're pregnant is the most important thing to do because let me tell you, sis. <sighs> Let's listen. I was not a water friend, water fan. I said friend. What the heck? I was not a water a water fan until I was pregnant. That's what I have to say, and that's it. I'm just gonna leave it right there just gonna leave it right there because uh-uh i know he ain't coming here yeah you you want to stay hydrated sweetie stay hydrated um they say you can go like go to the gym or whatever i ain't going to no damn gym um excuse my french i just like i have a if you guys watch my how um my what you call this my house my apartment tour empty apartment tour uh, I need to do a furnished apartment tour, but I haven't got to it yet, so whatever. Um, I have a golf course um, at the the back of my apartment, so I just go walk around that like two times or one time, me and my husband, and that's it. I'm not going to no gym. I feared I'm not going to no gym because listen, when if I 
get that membership I would not I don't know I can't stay consistent so stuff so I try my best not to um, so I just go for a walk me and my hubby like when the day is nice like today we probably go for a walk or something but who knows so yeah and if I go I'll like if I haven't posted this video I'll just like insert a clip um, but yeah you can go to the gym if you want to I'm not going to Okay, so I had a girl ask me, well, I wouldn't, yeah, I had a subscriber ask me um, if spotting while pregnant is okay. Based on my knowledge, spotting while you're pregnant is okay. Spotting while you're in your first um, trimester is okay because that just means like, I forgot what my doctor told me because I had to ask her because i didn't want to come on here and give y'all um, false hope or whatever but she said that spotting while you're young like your early year pregnancy is okay because that just means like you're stretch your womb is stretching remember and i mean a lot of stuff is going on in your body and you might just get a little like if it's like a little that if you are getting like a little spot like just one or two drops and stuff then you're okay but if you're filling up a whole pad you need to run to the hospital like rush to the hospital if you fill up a whole pad in less than 30 minutes or in less than an hour you need to go to the hospital first of all i'm not waiting until i feel no damn pad if i see a heavy flow like i'm on my period i'm going but like the little spotting, like one spot, one, two, three, four, five, six spots, that's different. But if it looks like my period is coming, then yeah, we going to the doctors. And thank God I live like two seconds away. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> um, this just turned into a question. Uh, um, question. Will I be doing a labor and delivery vlog? I am not sure. Um, just because I don't know if my hospital allows us to do, um, if they allow us to video, more than likely. But if they do, then I probably will. I probably will have to have my friend or somebody else come because I know, um, Kennard is gonna come, he's gonna wanna stay close to me um especially like while i'm in pain and all of that stuff so i know he won't be able to uh i know he won't be able to video because he don't want to stay close to me so i'm probably just gonna have to have my friend video the whole time and all of that stuff so yeah hopefully she's not working the day i'm giving birth because yeah but I will be doing I will if they let me, okay? So yeah. Um when you're pregnant, do not go on Google. Do not go on Google when you're pregnant. Um it's just here, let's turn y'all this way. Okay. When you're pregnant, do not. I repeat myself. Do not go on Google. Please don't. Because Google, y'all be trying to give people a heart attack over here. Like, okay, you y'all be trying to give me a heart attack. And I can't, I can't have that. I can't have that. No, I can't have that at all. Don't just don't go on Google when you're pregnant. Like, that's just all I'm gonna say. Don't Google nothing. <laughs> and if you know, you know, Google be trying to give people a heart attack over here. Just don't, okay? Just don't. Don't do it. Don't go on Google when you're pregnant. <laughs> don't. Um, I, to be honest, um, I have bought a few maternity stuff. I bought mostly leggings because that's all I'm comfortable in when I'm going out. Um, I do buy... Ooh, I do buy... Um, I did buy, I'm not even gonna say I do buy, I did buy um, maternity clothes, but I bought like some shirts. I bought some shirts, I bought some leggings, um, I bought some comfy slippers, um, I bought some, what is this called? I 
I bought some new underwear. I bought these bra. These ones, these are like sports bra. Because to be honest right now, nothing fit my boobs. And my boobs done grown like two times what it was. And I feel like it's not finished growing. And I already have big boobs. So like, that's another thing. So get you some maternity clothes. You know, just invest in yourself while you're pregnant. That's some, like, that's important. You know, just invest in yourself um, while you're pregnant. If you don't want to invest in yourself other than that, like on the other side and stuff i don't know what to tell you but while you're pregnant just invest in yourself that it's it's, it's a good habit to have so just go ahead and do it you know what i'm saying yeah um pregnancy apps i have pregnancy plus um i have what to expect um what's the other one i have baby and me um i have a lot of them I have baby and me. I have flow. Um, you can track up your you track your baby on flow, and I also use the Elf app because I used to use that to track my period. But you can also use it to track your pregnancy too. So just go on any one of them and keep track of your baby. It tells you like all these great stuff. I'll just put some screenshots and stuff. Um, yeah it gives you like updates on your baby how your baby is doing and all of that stuff so yeah you want to go ahead and zoom out and see <laughs> and i to be honest with you like you can upload your um appointments in there it reminds you like it reminds you about your period period your appointments like it really 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 um, reminds you about your appointment just in case like Google well Google Calendar is good on it too but like just in case Apple um, calendar doesn't remind you that you have an appointment the, yeah these apps does they don't play they tell you like what size your baby is how many um, days you have to go right now I have 29 28 or 27 weeks left to go so yeah um, 28 weeks um, I'm so excited. 201 days, like <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me on it, but I have a, a long way to go. Um, if you are a YouTuber, don't be like me. Um, you do like weekly updates on your YouTube channel just so you could keep track of your pregnancy and stuff. I didn't. I didn't have a YouTube when I was pregnant with my son. And my daughter so i couldn't do no pregnancy updates or nothing like that but with this one i'm probably gonna, i'm trying to keep up with it but sometimes like i just don't feel like coming on the camera and giving people attitude for no reason you know what i'm saying like that's it makes no sense so that's why i don't do it because some days like yesterday i was planning on video, filming this video and boy my attitude was staying like my husband was looking at me like you know so my attitude was just not having it so and i was sleeping the whole day yesterday too um but like when i do wake up i be cranky so that's why i didn't want to feel um film no video and another one is because my husband only gets um sunday off so that's the only day i get to spend with him so that's why i didn't video either but i'm gonna be trying to do more i'm gonna be doing a morning routine tomorrow hopefully I get up on in time because I'm not gonna do the whole laying in bed business thing because no, that's not me. I'm not about to be pretending like I'm sleeping, so no. Yeah. Um, the next I have two more left. So this one I wrote that don't tell anyone your baby's name until you choose. Right. So this is one important factor while you're pregnant, is like everybody wants to know the baby name. Everybody, your mommy, your daddy, your sister, your uncle, your cousin, your nephew, your auntie, everybody wants to know the name that you're choosing for your baby. Me, I chose a lot of names, but I won't be revealing it anytime soon. Um, just because, just because, I don't know. I, I, I just don't want to reveal it yet. Um, but I, I want to make sure that it's okay with my hubby like if that's the name he want to choose because this is his first baby so I don't want to like you know I don't want to he could choose the name if he want to but if he doesn't choose it in time sweetie I'm choosing the name I was trying to do a little fade like my hair is growing back and stuff like oh but it's growing back in different ways that I don't like though like 
I'm gonna take off some of these like because like my hair was breaking off bro like I know they say your hair's supposed to grow while you're pregnant but mm, mine's breaking the fuck off I wonder if I'm having a boy because my daughter I had strong hair but she has strong hair too so yeah so yeah that's the that's the last one don't tell nobody your baby name until you choose because a lot of these people feel like they need to tell you what to name your baby for one another. Why not to name your baby? Like, mm, who are you again? Did you get me pregnant? No, I'm sorry. But I'm going to give you guys a bump up updates. Pray for me because I don't like doing these type of stuff. But <laughs> So this is my belly. So this is my belly. Look at my boobs. This is my belly. Like my stretch marks and stuff are coming in in. Like look at this. And this is from the side. So. And half of this has to do because I was fat. So well I was fat. I'm still fat. But That. and like this is what I'm talking about my stretch marks look they are coming in more they're coming in more but yeah but my belly button is peeking out my belly button you couldn't see it. like my belly button was all the way in but it's coming out now which is fine <laughs> mine's is growing in a circle so And I felt the baby move yesterday, actually. So that's a good thing. And for those of the people that I know they're going to say, I ain't seen no stretch, that much stretch marks. Yes, I have a lot of stretch marks. So yeah, this is my belly. <laughs> so that is it for this video, guys. If you guys have any more comments, leave them in the comment box down below. Let me know what kind of other videos you guys want to see. I know you guys want to see a room tour, but I'm getting around to that. I didn't fit, like my room haven't been finished, so I don't want to do a video and my room's not finished, you know, so yeah. But that is it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell down below so, and become a part of my family. If you have any questions about my my um intro i will also leave the person that i literally went on her youtube channel and i watched her do it from point one to point like all the way she did three steps and that was easy so that's it and if you guys have any call any questions about it you could also go on her um her her youtube channel and tell her crystal send you so that is it guys i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. <laughs>